Okay, so yes, I've been asked broken before by somebody I really care about and love. Okay, that aspect is love at break. Yes, actually. It happened with your emotional well being as well. My mental health was at stake also. Can you just like. Why are you laughing? No, sorry. Hi there. Welcome back to Bantarum. Actually, it feels so good to be back on this amazing space. And um, uh, after we have our anniversary a few days ago, if you're here to see the vlog, I think you should see it. On today's episode, we are going to be discussing something very, very. Let me use the. I don't want to use the word catchy. Something very, very. Let me use the word catchy anyway. Um, and trust me, I'm not going to do it alone. I have some important people here with me. Who else are we supposed to discuss this topic with, if not these two? <laughs> well, my name is Aidea Bimali Kolamji, and on today's episode, we'll be talking about rebuilding after heartbreak. And like I said earlier, I'm not going to be doing it alone. So here with me is... Akifenwaru Abukola. Popularly known as... Oh, you celebrity gay card. And, um... I'm um, Olaguke Wisdom Olawali, popular news Arab. As heartbreak. <laughs> as boy freak. Well, average boy is, is, is nice. Musically known as boy freak. Popularly known as average boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you for honoring the invitation, guys. So, Twitter people, you, you hacked and we brought this to you yeah. here. So, on today's episode, like I told you, we'll be talking about rebuilding after a break. And like I said earlier, who are we supposed to discuss this episode with? Like this particular topic with, if not these two. So let me start with the word heartbreak. I think everyone is quite familiar with the context of heartbreak. Um, at times it's a dark night at all. So at times some we just like over a couple of drinks or over talking to someone, people are already better. So what was your boy freak? Let's start from you. Okay. We'll get back to our people. Sure, snake. But let's start from you. What's your take? Like what what do you know? Like <laughs> so you if you had the word heartbreak, what comes to your mind first? Let's put it that way. Okay. Um the word heartbreak can Occur from various uh, things like something that that um, affects you emotionally or mentally. Like it, it takes toll on you oh, emotionally. Not about. No, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> so um, it's not necessarily about relationship alone. A lot of things can cause heartbreak. At as long as it hurts you emotionally, mm -hmm. I I think I can consider that as an heartbreak. Thank you very much. I like the way you ran the whole thing. Like it doesn't necessarily have to go with love alone. Mm -hmm. But what led to that heartbreak? Something. We'll get to the question with that. So, what's your own take on on the word outbreak? If you have outbreak, what comes to your mind at first? Okay, I think what comes to my mind is when something that affects Sorry. you mentally and emotionally. It doesn't have to do with only relationship alone. It can be other aspects. Maybe losing someone that is very dear to you. Mm, that can be a problem. Yeah. So, it tells with our mental health and our emotional well-being. Okay, so that's... If you heard the word outbreak, now that's what comes to your mind. Yes, that's what comes to my mind. Okay, let's put it this way. Should I start the question already? Let's put it this way. Have you ever been outbroken before? Yes, I have. What type of outbreak is that? How did it happen to you? Oh, God. Okay. Why are you stressing the big man? I, um... <sighs> the worst. Even if there's no water in the way, it's still worse. <laughs> Okay, so yes, I've been asked broken before by somebody I really care about and love. Okay, that aspect is love at break. Yes, actually. It happened with your emotional well being as well. My mental health was at stake also. Can you just like. Why are you laughing? No, sorry, sorry. I'm a freak. I'm sorry. I'm a freak. Sir. <laughs> very, very careful. I'm listening to you. Don't mind them. Okay. I want to, I want you to like just like elaborate on that kind of situation. How do you feel? Did you talk to someone or over <coughs> a couple of drink or probably I'll just like elaborate on yeah. There are certain ways that people used to like bottle up some things. Sure. I what was it like for you? Actually apart from me being a baker, I'm also a writer. I write a lot and then my diary is my best friend. So you write on your diary? You never yeah. published a book before? No. no. Okay. Just Personal diary. Okay. When I got at broken, it was really painful because it was somebody I least expected it from and somebody I really, really do love, somebody I really care about. And ending the heartbreak though, 
one thing I realized is that I have to heal first. Even though it's hot, you just have to heal. And it was not easy. The healing process was not easy. Yeah, I'm still healing though. The healing process. But that's why I didn't want to give birth with chance. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for that. Did you sorry. ask me out? I'm sorry for that. Thank that's you. my bad. Okay. Okay, so I am still. Let me just. I'm still healing. <laughs> You are still in the process, I think. Yes, I'm done with the process, but I've not healed completely, totally. <laughs> okay. Actually, I I wrote a lot of things in my diary. Things I think were not right that I did in the relationship. Actually, I can't put all the blame on the guy. Oh, so you, because you I also have my own fault. Individual reflection. Yes, exactly. You have to talk about it. Okay, probably this is where I go wrong and all that. Yes. I thought about it. I wrote a lot of things down and then some of the mistakes I had in my relationship, sorry, my past relationship that, that I would brought, never Okay, that you would never try yes. again. Okay. So, so is it the heartbreak that led to that twist up of that time? What twist? Oh you get perfect. Alright. So boy freak. Yeah. She has answered. Why are you very laughing? Well. That your first song, Arts Break. Mm -hmm. I was very curious about that first. I was like, one day we are going to sit down here and we have the conversation. I'm doing it to Almighty God. Yeah, Inshallah. <laughs> so, I want to listen to you. What led to that song? Okay, what led to that song was the fact that all through my stay in OU, I never dated anybody here. So, I was like, okay, let me oh, try to stay here. Oh, that's good. So, I'm like, okay, let me just try this lady. You understand? Yeah. So I got to know her through a friend. So started she laughing. She she told me to stop laughing. Seriously, it's funny now. It's not funny, is it's it? Okay. okay, so he's talking about the along the line. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind that. This is coming. Okay. Have a conversation. So along the line, yeah. Um, I sh I can describe that previous relationship as toxic. It was kind of very toxic for me. Yeah. So along the line, we had to like she broke up with me. Oh, she broke. She broke up with me. Precisely on my birthday. Oh ah, God! Chop him again. On love. Chop him, chop him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sounds. Yeah, I'm listening. So um, that was only to the song. Like one thing about me is if I write, there's always a lot of hints in my song. Like if you listen to the song, you'll be able to like pick one or two from the song here. Yeah? So it was my experience with Ada made me write the first song. Yeah, that made me. The first song was was a hit because it made a lot of sense. So to you. I want to ask you a question. So, to you, do you think going through that kind of situation, that toxic situation, mm -hmm. do you think it was a blessing or a lesson? No. Because basically, some people are going to be like, um, going through a dark night of the soul in a relationship, or probably being there for toxic people, or having a relationship that is very, very toxic. At the end of the day, if you come out of it, like you might be, you might come out of like you might come out of it in a very I don't I want to know, find the right word to use. Like when you come out of it, you become a better person or so. Sure, you get so. What, what, what was it like for you? For me, it was a terrible lesson. Terrible course, lesson? Terrible lesson because after I um, after the um, breakup, I was like, I was reflecting on, 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 and I was like, why did I let this happen? Why, like, Jesus, so I was like, why? Like, why did I have to like, go through all of this? Why did I, because, but then one thing about breakup for me is after every breakup, I tend to get better. Like, see that, okay, was I not enough? Like, that's one of the questions I asked. Was I not enough? What? Was lacking behind what did i what did i do you understand stuff like that but then honestly that previous relationship before this recent one <laughs> you got your heart broken again <laughs> yes now that's that was only to add break 2.0 yeah one let's do yeah let's do add break 2.0 the thing is yeah, initially yeah. initially i shouldn't make another ad break song because personally this particular lady i respect her a lot like to be honest, this this last one was the best relationship I've ever had. Like everything was perfect. Like everything nah, was so perfect. Nah, you know, I, 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 you know, as much as I like to agree to that statement, you've not met everybody that is that that that's exactly. Loved. I mean, yeah, that, 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 like, you that, like you in my dating history, going to love you. yeah, like in my dating history, that was the best relationship <laughs> I, I've yeah. ever had. Honestly, because that's that's close to whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. But so everything that's was right. perfect. But then we we couldn't work due to some certain reasons. Why? Okay, um, mm -hmm. she wanted a church boy, and practically, <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> so I have to choose between being a sweet denola or being the freak you guys must try and So it was a tough decision for me, but then you, uh, I, I want to ask you a question. Okay. 
you have to like pick between someone that said someone that you said is probably the person that ever happened exactly. to you. Exactly, I don't understand. And between being boy freak, right? Yeah. Like, is it that I be this artist, this person you all know that makes songs and all of that, or being like this church? boy and so that we can but you could have done better sorry how many mm-hmm. years was the relationship it wasn't years just three months just three, three months, months. Yeah. brother you're not serious Why? let me just say it okay. you could have actually worked things out with her too you don't have to just conclude that okay because she wants to church boy she can bend rules for you somebody that loves you will actually go miles for you that's what i know i think you should tell her that because i tried everything in my part i'm not sure you tried because I... you felt like just three months bro and you gave up ah. And he said she's the best that I've ever happened to. He was still supposed to like hold on for for a while, right? Yes, actually. The truth is, that. I tried. I com- before the relationship started, we talked about it. We said we can. There's a uh, meeting point where that okay. Because one thing is what I went for is I went. I was looking for somebody who is responsible and god fearing because I want to have the responsible. Then you, responsible. you find us someone that is responsible and god fearing, oh, yes. and you still let her go. But you the one that said you were not interested and in She was the one who broke up for me. She was, the one she was the one that broke up. You understand? Because she was like, okay. You were not meeting the. Like yeah. the quota of being somebody who's rooted in church. Oh, you understand? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But you be boyfriend can still go to church now. I do that. I you like go to church. That. But she still was like, she doesn't see herself getting married to an artist. Yeah. So you feel like I, I did everything in my power. I convinced I. There's nothing I didn't do. Hold on, can I ask you a question? But in the first three months, why are you guys talking about marriage? The I don't months, understand though. I don't date to play around. If I if I want to date you, I see myself getting married to you already. Most see. people don't date for dating sake. They date they are in intentional relationship for three months and you guys are talking about marriage, bro. Sorry. That's supposed to just take it easy, right? Yes now. Take it like you guys are meant to get to know each other very, very well. You don't just jump into marriage and all of that. Okay, let me tell you, let me ask you a question then. If you meet someone now and you guys are like in i don't want to use the word talking stage probably you are, you are you are in a relationship you're in a mm-hmm. dating phase already like how, how many months is it going to take before you know that okay this person i want to get married this might be the person that i'm not married it will still take like six months six months so what's the difference between six months and three months it's different a lot can happen within three months mm-hmm. actually yeah. that's so. a very good answer so back to you boy free okay. so um you were not you are unable to be the church boy that she wants right so yeah. at the end of the day she was like i get to go to church mm-hmm. I feel for you, man. I think first half, second half, break. But I don't think you guys should be talking about marriage for the first three months. Okay. Dating or the relationship. You guys could still be like courting each other, like, you know, trying to get to know each other first. Then I think probably from. I'm not giving you that advice, though. Sure, sure, sure. I'm just I, saying this on the video. How you? Don't worry, bro. <laughs> so, probably from there, from there, from. You can see, okay, getting to know each other. From there, you can. There's compromises. Like, you can compromise a lot of things for each other. If. The relationship like if you guys have got to know each other well there are a lot of things actually a lot of things are written for well i'm not here to give that advice anyway i'm just saying yeah. my take and my opinion why are you looking at me like that <laughs> we are coming back to you okay. <laughs> so my friend has told us a lot of things that led to his first um outbreak and the second one outbreak 2.0 so i have a question for you okay you said you are seeing your face of healing or you are in healing journey right? Quote and unquote, you said you've you are done healing, or you think you are still in the process. I think yeah. that was the way you said it earlier. Yeah, so do you see yourself being in an emotional relationship in any time soon, or do you think it's going to take a toll on your on your business or your educational life? I'm almost done with school already. I'm in my finals. And actually, if I see the right person, why not? What's your own definition of the right person? A lot. Like, if I ask a person, like, what's your definition of the right person? You should, like, okay. have it. You have a box. That, okay, this person okay. check my box. Ah, ah, Basically, ah. for me, a guy that understands me, a guy that listens, not a guy that talks too much, that is not ready to listen, a guy that cares about me, that cares about my business, too. A guy that does not, that is not authoritative, actually. I don't like authoritative okay, guys. Sense. Like... What's him fairly late with the god or she? No, bro, can't work for me. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to talk. You are going to come down and talk yes, to me. Have a exactly, about yes. it and all that. We are both in the relationship, not like you commanding me. Like, mm. I'm going to talk about it and also the right guy. 
You should be fine, Sha. No so, so you like my boy? Eh, you 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 like ugly girls, are they? I'm just saying I'm asking a question. Yeah, you should be fine. So not today, but the context and the old um topic about this particular episode. Revealing oneself after an outbreak. Uh, after a outbreak, sorry. Mm-hmm. So how do you like after you got your outbreak in at first? In as much as I don't want to like ask you that question, I have to. So mm-hmm. you, my man, sure, sure, sure. I don't have to ask you. Yeah. So how do you like come about to the extent that you start, you find yourself in another relationship, despite the fact that it was a toxic situation for you? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. I would have to say after relationship, I think I've said it. I had to go through therapy for three months. Therapy. Yeah. You been to therapy before? You need yeah. to see a counselor. Ha. Ah, God, I paid. That was it's, another it's, level of outbreak. It was that terrible, very, very terrible. It's another I level of outbreak. So I'm listening. <coughs> I had to like go for therapy for like three months straight and um along the line. Three, three months, months of counseling. Three months straight, three months. That was a crazy. For I think another two months, I disappeared. You left from like, I left. Everywhere. I disappeared. I was just off. <sighs> Instant. It was that bad. Instant. That's not bad. That's crazy. <laughs> Type shit. Type shit. So, for me, this is how I, from my um my time with my therapist, I think this is the three main major, major phase I can break down the um the um getting yourself back after a break. For me, the first stage phase is grievance. It's a must for you to break. Yeah. Okay. So grievance, then acceptance, then healing. So grievance is like okay, it has happened. The grief, the pain, and all of that. You are going all over that and all of that. It's okay, it's grand. Yeah, it's, it's grand. grand it. That outburst of emotion. Because one time I had some. One time someone said something to me. It was like, if someone break your heart, mm-hmm. she understand, and you are not, you didn't grieve, then definitely you did not like. Exactly, it. exactly. That's just. Or well, probably, part. probably you 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 are yet like you before you enter that particular relationship. Just be like. It's a normal thing, so sorry for yeah, it's, not, it's fine. So, um, the second phase is actually in two phases, also the acceptance there's the grief and grievance acceptance and healing acceptance that you are still grieving, but you have accepted that okay, this has happened, but you still feel the pain. Then, the I am healing acceptance where everybody okay, you've accepted, then you are now on your way to heal. And the last phase, which is healing, so you see, healing can take as long as possible. You can't just say I've healed, you can't come to a conclusion because. You might feel like okay, I've healed. Then you get into another relationship, and something will just trigger something you. You understand? Okay. So healing is can take as much time as much time. You understand? So that's how it is for me. So after much on encouragement, therapy words, and all that, like, okay, let me try again. I actually took my time. I really took my time out. Let me ask a question for the viewers: like, mm-hmm. how 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 much time do you think one needs to take after? Heart break before you can like heal. Before you can heal, I can't give you, but nothing less than three months. Three months. Nothing less, except you are just joking with the person. You understand? Except you are just playing with the person. Like because, for me, I take emotional connections very seriously. Like if I love you, I love you. Like so, like <clears throat> the separation just messes with my mind a lot. You understand? Because one thing is, if I'm in a relationship with somebody, I do not like. How do I say this in a very cool? When I in relation with somebody, other people, I don't. They don't just look appealing to me. You understand? Other girls. So, other girls don't look appealing to me. So the moment everything goes, you are just. You know, it's just feel like a brand new world. You are just new. Like you want to get to know everybody again. It's not like get to know everybody. Everybody just like feels just like a stranger. Work. You understand? Because yeah, these people were just. You were not like they were not appealing to you in the first place. So the person who made you feel like okay, oh, he's not even there. You are just. You're just there. Yeah, just there. And it's not that kind Possibly of thing. Possibly engaging in the world. Thank exactly. you very much for that. Time. So, how much do you pay for therapy again? I'll ask you this question. <laughs> so, back to you. Back to the context of the whole episode. So, what, what he has said his own. So, the question is that, you know, like, how, how, how do you think we can heal and rebuild oneself and after a break? Okay, I would not say he has said it all, but then he has really said a lot of things. You have to heal. What worked for you? Let me let me put the question like that. What worked for me? Actually, one thing about me is if if a guy is hurting me or hurts me, I won't leave the relationship immediately. I'm so sorry. I would heal in that relationship before I leave. So I'll have the courage to leave the guy. That was what I actually did. I don't understand. 
Let me explain. Don't just fear okay, okay, okay. Let me actually explain. So, so you would have left the relationship before leaving him. No. Is that what you're trying to say? I would leave him before leaving the relationship. Okay. Let me explain. My previous relationship, this guy really hurt me a lot. And even my friends are like, ah, leave this guy, leave this guy. But I was so vulnerable with him. I like how oh, I loved him a whole lot. Like I really, really do love him. And then I noticed that, okay, fine, this guy is taking the chances of I love him and then he feels like I cannot leave him. Like you know somebody bragging with his friend that oh my what's he love me, You know that kind of rubbish and I was really pained when I got to discover but I felt like I'm not to lose and then he did a lot of shit. Like a whole lot of shit and actually How do you like I cried. I cried. Grief, which he has mentioned. Yes, I cried a lot. I cried myself to sleep. I got very, very, very ill while I was in Lagos and then I was not responding to treatment. What were you not responding to treatment? The, the thing, I think. Our family knows oh. so was telling my mommy that she sick, she was sick, she was sick, she was sick, she sick, she was sick, sick, she was sick, she was sick, was sick, she 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 was sick, he no, it's not like he has moved on with that. This guy has seen me finish. So, basically, when I go back to school, I didn't talk to him. I deleted virtually most things that makes me remember him. That's your process of healing as well. Yes, okay. I deleted most of it. But anytime I see this guy in school, there's this kind of eye. There's kind of eye this guy gives me, and then I'll be like, ah, I'll just have to run to my friend, and he'll be like, no, don't think about it. And he came back to beg me, though. And I was like, ah. Okay, this is time for revenge. Like it's better time for revenge. Actually, I I accepted him. Back. I know, like, accepted that, but I was ready to take my own pound of flesh. So when I accepted him back, we started talking. Thought we were still getting along. This emotional connection has left already. The emotional connection has left already, and then I was not really cool with talking to him anymore. Like I was not even giving him attention because then I don't care about any other guy. Just in that. So that was where you. Yes. You, you 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 rebuilt yourself after yes. that break. You used the guy as a means to an end. Yeah, not like that though. But then I did not leave the relationship. I made sure I healed completely, like before leaving the relationship. You used him to heal. Yes, now I should go on a break at me. So when I left, he felt the pain, he felt the torture. That was, was what led to your own healing. Yeah. <laughs> I have something I want to say, but I won't say it anymore. Say it now. <laughs> don't worry. Use someone as a means to an end. Anyway, you, you, you lot said a lot of things about heartbreak and how to rebuild oneself about after and after heartbreak. It was left to me. You made a very good point. You made a very good point. You, you guys did very, very well. I really love my expectation. So, rebuilding oneself after heartbreak, to me, in my own perspective and opinion, it's, 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 it takes a lot of time, that's why it takes a lot of time. Some people with the grief, they find someone they want to talk to, and all of those things. But at the end of the day, time heals, like they used to say. Mm. Time heals. You take a lot of time, you're going to give them whatever advice is going on to you. I'll give you an advice. Don't use someone to, to eat again. Don't you see people as Yeah, as I said, after I broke up with him, I rediscovered myself. I rediscovered him as a musician. He was one that hurts me now. So we won't break Thank you me. very much. So if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always, you know, dropping a comment, liking our post, and making it easy for us to have a conversation here. Yeah. We've heard from Boy Freak, the Art Freak Boy. My guy got started looking twice, 1.0, 2.0, and we've heard for OU Celebrity Breaker. <laughs> you said a lot about that Breaker, and how she, she used someone as a means to an end after she got her broken. If you're coming across the channel for the new for, for the first time, this is Banter, a place where we, you know, facilitate conversation about absolutely anything and everything. And in today's episode, we talk about rebuilding oneself after average. If there's something you want us to discuss about, drop it in the comment section. And thank you for always sticking around. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you.